You already know what it is. It's your boy Toonchi, and this is YBE TV. Today I'm gonna come to you with a real special video. But first, you already know. Hit me up on my Gmail at one ybetv at gmail.com and you'll get a response to any of your questions you shoot. Just be patient and I'll get to you as in in order as they were sent. Okay. First and foremost, we today we want to talk about YouTube and how you can start a YouTube channel and start to monetize it and make money. First and foremost, you need to come up with an idea. What do you want to post about? Do you want to post about uh, just a vlog where you sit in front of the camera like I'm doing and talk? Do you want to do DIY, do-it-yourself videos? Do you want to do reviews where you review new products or review new things or how you fix things, how you do things, how you build things. You can go out, you could actually go out on the street and, you know, shoot vlogs of like a day in the life of you. You could do a documentary of the people in your neighborhood or whatever you want to do, a show, whatever. So you come up with that. Then you need to come up with the name of it, of the gimmick that you're going to be doing, and you need to come up with the name of your platform. The name of your platform, you're going to have to come up with a brand. You're going to have to come up like my brand is YBE TV. And what you need to do is, the first thing you need to do is you get you a logo and you get you a, uh, you start branding your, uh, your, your channel. So now you got those small things established and you ready to move on to taking video. Now, a lot of people don't want to go out and put a lot of money into a camera in the beginning. So what you can do is you can use your camera phone. Now, one of the biggest things that you will have to do is light it correctly. As you can see, um... Uh, I got lights all around me, and that's why you're getting such a quality picture. But I do have a high-end DSLR camera. But you can go out and you can use your iPhone 7. You can use your Samsung Galaxy Note 8. You can well Galaxy uh, the the S8. You can use the Note, whichever one is not exploding. You can use those. Um, the 1080p camera is fine. The uh, 4K camera is better. But you're probably not going to be able to uh, broadcast it in 4K for most things anyway. So you get your camera and you make sure you light it. And the best thing you're going to have to do next is get you some editing software. If you're a Windows guy, you can go with like Sony Vegas or you can go with Adobe Premiere. If you got Microsoft, you could go with Adobe Premiere as well or you could go with like Final Cut. Now you get you some software like that. Now you are ready to start your channel. So, Oh, I'm sorry. Next, next thing you do is you could get you some small audio. Um, you could you could use the regular audio and just try to enhance it through your uh, what's the name through your uh, your you know your editing software. You could do it like that. And there's a lot of YouTube videos on whatever editing software you choose and decide to use. Okay, so now you got those small things out the way. You ready to start your channel? The first thing, first and foremost, is you have to stay consistent. I'm going to tell you this again. You have to stay consistent. So don't start your channel until you have like 12 or 13 episodes in the clip. What I mean by in the clip is put them to the side and make sure you got 12 or 13 episodes of whatever you want to do. If you want to vlog, take 12 or 13 vlogs and upload them and keep them private until you're ready to launch your channel. Next, what you want to do is you want to... Um, you want to make sure you don't have any copyrighted material. No copyrighted material, which means you cannot play T.I. in the background. You cannot play Jeezy. No Metallica. No, none of that. None of those things that's been copyrighted. So you can use instrumentals or you can use, uh, you can use music from people that you cleared it with. Like, hey, bro, do you mind if I use some of your music in some of my vlogs or my shows or my videos or whatever? And then what will happen is you will end up able to monetize that video when you're able to monetize that video what will happen is you will be able to get money off of the clicks you get now let me do a, a brief explanation of that when you put a video on youtube and you uh and it does so many views you don't get paid only off the views you get paid off of the ads that's in it so when you monetize it you're agreeing to run ads of different people like if you doing a cooking show like I have a cooking show called Cooking with Tunchi. If you're doing a cooking show, you might get an ad from Velveeta Shells and Cheese. So they're going to, like, in between the cooking show, I'm searing the steak on both sides and showing you how to do it. And then it will cut out, and then it will show a commercial from Velveeta. If you click into that commercial, I will probably actually get a couple more cents 
from that person clicking into it. If they watch the whole commercial, I'll actually get more sense. So every time that uh, click, people click into these things, it's some type of way. They got like a certain algorithm that they use to total up how much you're going to make per video. Now, why I say is that you need to stay loaded up with 14 videos because what happens is after you start using your YouTube and you start to get popular, you will start to make more and more money off of these videos. You'll get more and more subscribers. You'll get more and more people that want to interact with you and you interact back with your people. When they comment, you try to comment. Even if you're just saying, thank you, I appreciate it. If they say negative things, you say, why? Because you tell me what you didn't like or what you did dislike. Don't get into a whole arguing match and a little racist thing because it's going to take away from your channel. And now you got to be a lot more PC on, fa on YouTube because a lot of sponsors don't want anything to do with racist rants and people burning crosses or, you know, like Black Lives Matter movement and things like that. They they pull in they they pull in they um they brand away from those things that's, you know, got so much controversy behind them. So you gotta be a little bit more PC to say, you know. Um next thing is what you wanna do is when you're doing these things, you make sure you brand it. Come up with a logo, and then the, the better you get, you start to look for intros and outros. Like, my intro is this. And then I have the outro of this. So those things right there, what you can do is you can, um, you can brand it with the intro, the outro, and then you have your logos, like mine at the bottom. You got your logos and where to meet you at on social media, other social media outlets where people can uh, contact you and be able to, you know, go back and forth, which will have a dialogue. Um, next, what I want to say is um, we went over branding it. We went over uh, coming up with a gimmick. We ran over that. And one of the biggest things that you want to do is you want to make sure that you make a, a dope description of your video and make sure you tag it. One of the best ways to tag a video is go on other videos just like yours. Like, let's just say I got a cooking channel. I will go to another cooking channel and see somebody that's making a steak. And I'm not going to click into the people that's got 11,000 views. I'm going to shoot for the top. Oh, wow, this lady's cooking channel got 2.3 million views. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what tags she's using, and I'm going to write them down. And when I figure out what tag she has, I'm going to go back to my channel, and I'm going to tag my channel with pretty much the exact same tags and probably a few more, and then I'm going to put mine out. And people will engage with that more because you're using a more popular tag. And another thing is don't be scared to put your video in people's face. Get some support from your friends and family on Facebook when you're moving your YouTube. And don't be scared to keep your videos on YouTube. And for a lot of my uh, musicians out there, what I want to let you know is don't let nobody um, quit letting a lot of these side people make thousands of dollars off your, your videos. Take your own videos and put them in one place so people can know where to reach you at. And I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm real adamant about that, that I want to say if your name is DJ Soda Pop and you got all these songs and collaborations that you're doing, but you're doing it with different people who actually shoot your videos and they got it on their channel, you need to take that video, strip it off their channel and put it on your channel as well. Even though they're going to get credit for the tags and everything for me, but you want to put all your videos on your channel so you can start to promote your own channel and when your channel and your brand bro blows up it will have all your things in the same place and you will start getting paid and getting money from your monetized videos on your own channel so that is the game and that is the gimmick of facebook i mean i'm sorry of youtube I'm going to do a part two to this. So that was just a brief description of what you can do to get started. So you already know what it is. This is my slogan and this is my outro. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. Why be? Killer to kill or a driller to drill. She just being yourself is the definition of real.